Welcome to your weekday cup of the word. We're in Luke 23, and this chapter is the crucifixion chapter. So wake up for Monday morning. You're looking at the most important event in the history of mankind. In this chapter, Jesus will go before Pilate. And Luke is unique in that he will add a detail that the other Gospels don't, that Jesus will go before Pilate a first time, and then he's going to be sent over to Herod once it's realized that he's a Galilean. And then Herod's going to pass the buck and take Jesus back to Pilate, where Pilate will torture him. And you're going to see uh, our, our Savior go through humiliation and beatings. And it's just a very dark thing that man can do when you see the violence that can be found uh, within the hearts of human beings. And then we're going to see that pound nails into his wrists, and into his ankles, and hang him. And uh, as you look at Luke's account, Luke's going to break it up into three-hour sections from about 9 a.m. to noon. You're going to see from verse 33 through 43, 9 a.m. to noon, the three-hour section there and what happens to Jesus. And then you're going to have three hours of darkness uh, that goes from noon to three. And at about three o'clock in the evening, our Savior is going to breathe his last, his last breath. He's going to give up the ghost. And, uh, and pay the ultimate price for our salvation. In this chapter, you'll see Jesus buried the same day, buried with the rights that he deserves, uh, the burial uh, amongst the wealthy, uh, a king's burial, and a brand new tomb, thanks to Joseph of Arimathea. And uh, you can get ready, because tomorrow, the death will end up in life. Life for Jesus, which means life for us. That's your daily cup. And we'll see you tomorrow.